Let's take a look here at pod to pod communication because we just saw how simple um, containers can communicate with other containers within a pod, just on the local host. Pod to pod is a bit different. And also it can be a little bit more tricky because you have pods that can be on the same node or you can have pods that are across nodes on different nodes. And so it's kind of the same, but a little bit different. Um, so I have this big fancy diagram that we'll use as a reference as we talk through our information here. So for pod to pod communication on the same uh, uh, node, uh, virtual ethernet devices is used to communicate from the pod network namespace to the root network namespace. That's why we were talking about uh, virtual ethernet devices to connect two namespaces together. Notice I named it here like EF0, EF1. It's still virtual. It's just that you can name them whatever you want. And so some people just do that to simplify it where they'll just call this one uh, F0 and that's uh, zero here, but this could have been one and two. We could name them whatever we want. Um, but I mean, this is done for you, right? So you don't you don't set this up manually. It's just happening. Um, but I'm just talking about if you were to uh, set up um, a VETH pair yourself, you can name whatever you want. Um, so in the root uh, network namespace, a bridge is used to allow all pod network namespaces to talk to other pods. So that's a networking component uh, that is set up for you here. The BR0 represents the bridge. Pods can see all of their pods and communicate using their IP addresses. So notice that they both have two distinct IP addresses in the same uh, network namespace or address namespace. Uh, and so if you were logged into a container here and you were to uh, ping this IP address, you would reach that pod. Um, and you could then also hit the uh, port number and hit a very specific container if you wanted to. I just want to distinguish between uh, routing and bridging because um, a lot of people might be thinking, you know, isn't a bridge just a router, but they're not. So routing allows multiple networks to communicate independently and yet remain separate using a router. So bridging connects two separate networks as if they were a single network using a bridge. So just understand a bridge is a bit simpler and treats everything on the same network, which is what it does, right? Because um, they have the same address space at the top there at the 10.0.0. Uh, idea there. Now let's take a look at a cross node. So here's our diagram. Looks pretty similar. And just so you know, there is a thing that's missing here that, uh, that goes in between. It, and I just don't have it there because we're going to be talking about it uh, when we look at services. So just be aware that this is an incomplete diagram on purpose. But um, so pods can communicate to other pods running on other worker nodes. How pods can communicate uh, uh, pods on other nodes is network specific. Okay. okay, so it's going to be specific to the scenario and will vary based on your provider. So in the case of AWS, they have their own implementation of the Container Networking Interface, CNI, and uh, it's called Amazon VPC Container Network Interface plugin for Kubernetes, uh, which allows you uh, to have node-to-node -node communication uh, via the AWS Virtual Private Cloud. So if you've used AWS, which is a virtual private cloud, basically it's going to communicate on there. So uh, your VPC, like, it's pretty straightforward, right? So the idea is, like, I can't really show you that in gr uh, granular detail because we'd be really digging into AWS specifics or any cloud service specifics. But the point that you need to know is that every provider has some kind of solution. And when you set up on a managed provider, it's going to already be installed there. And so it's just going to work. And you're going to have to do the research uh, for each of those. But it's always probably going to be happening with uh, the container networking interface. It's always going to be some kind of plugin uh, for that, okay?